<laughs> spider mites, spider mites. So it's the 4-H time of year and I gotta figure out how to take this off, this bucket off of this tractor. Good morning guys, uh, it is 6.30. I am getting ready. I'm going into the coffee shop right now. I'm gonna get me a cup of coffee and then go probably scout for a little bit and then probably wind up spraying by the end of the day if it is dry enough and see if we can get something done today. But yeah, going in the coffee shop now. Gonna get me a iced coffee because I can drink that first thing in the morning. So yeah, I'm gonna get me a coffee. Then we're gonna go back to the farm, scout a little bit, maybe get some fuel, and then might end up going spraying a little bit. So, so I uh, just got over here to Bridgeport, looked around a little bit, and Ross is going to come spray it today. We are gonna knock everything back as hard as what we can with some Enlist, which is basically your 24D. We're gonna knock it all back with some Enlist, a little bit of a uh, warrant, and what we call intensity. Intensity is a uh, volunteer corn chemical that we use. It's to kill the kill the corn, or the kill the corn in the bean field, which you don't want the corn in the bean field. So we gotta kill it and get it knocked out of there, which it's hard to do over here. This field is uh, really hilly and it's hard to get a combine set up right to where it's not throwing a bunch of it out the back. So I'll let Ross show you guys that here once he gets over here, but he should be about to get to the farm here in a couple minutes and then he's gonna get his truck ready and hopefully get going he's got to throw some fuel on there because he didn't get to go home between Russellville and uh, Bridgeport so yeah now I'm on my way back towards home I'm gonna go look at some bean fields down there probably end up running some more intensity out there and uh, yeah should be good made it home now we gotta go back now we gotta go into john deere i think they should be opened just opened up but hey you know what gotta do what you gotta do uh, let's go give them some crap for a couple minutes so it's the 4-h time of year and i gotta figure out how to take this off this bucket off of this tractor for the 4-h kids to use for tractor driving so we're gonna take this outside, this nice brand new tractor supplied to 4-H by uh, Alliance Tractor. Woo! Yeah, we're at smooth on the joystick for sure. We're gonna go out there, we're gonna try and hook this, see if we can get it. I probably won't be able to, I'm not that smart. But yeah, we're gonna try it. So the only thing I do not like about these tractors these newer ones like this is so if you notice it's idled down right now and it idles up as you speed up i don't like that so what i have to do is i come over here and uh it's these two buttons yep yeah so i go ahead and i do that and then that will uh Oh, this one's even got a cruise control on. That's pretty neat. But yeah, we gotta find somewhere to put this bucket at. Okay, that really was not all that hard. I did have to call and get some instructions. Okay. Are we getting somewhere? Oh, something happened. Am I doing it right? I don't think I'm doing this right. I am doing something wrong. Yes, I am doing something very wrong. No, 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 whoa. Okay, that is neat. 
I don't know about you guys, but that is really neat how that works. But I still have yet to figure out how this works exactly. So yeah, give me a minute. Uh, I'm gonna try and figure it out. So I got the uh, tractor hooked up, got the two wheel wagon on it. Uh, I also put air in the tires on it and it should be ready to go. Got the bucket off of it, all that stuff. So yeah, uh, this is basically how I learned to back anything. Uh, basically all you do is you drive into a barn, well, whatever you're using, four wheel wagon, you drive through the barn, go what they call a barn. They have like this course set up and it's called a, you got one spot, it's called a barn. You can't hit any of the posts, nothing like that. And then you go through an L shed and then after the L shed, you go through a serpentine. You go through it forward and then you got to back through it. And then you drive around and go back into the shed. And then for two wheel wagon, you got to back it in the shed. So yeah, oh, that wore me out a little bit. What kind of words of advice you got today? <laughs> <laughs> he hates us kids i promise <laughs> guys these crops are looking really really good this year i mean if you look at them oh you can't see anything that's a little better hold on up a little bit yeah there we go these crops are looking amazing though look at them they got some nice blooms on them we got corn tasseling, beans are blooming. Probably aren't to the R stages yet. We're getting close though. But man, look at them, they look good. So we are probably gonna be able to spray this stuff today if I get my sprayer working again. But excavator, yellow mac, cornfield. This corn down here was playing a little bit later than the rest of our corn, so it's a little bit behind probably about i think it's about three to four days behind the rest of it so these will be shooting tossels here pretty soon too but back home we got a whole entire field that's shot tossels uh it looks really really good really surprised with it really happy with it but main problem here is this is this field right here is an irrigated uh the next field over there is i haven't looked at it yet but i'd say it's not i'd say it's not tasseling either it is a little bit tacky, but if you know me and my uh, happy need for mud, it'll be okay and I will get it sprayed. But um, we are gonna have to worry about doing fungicide. On beans, we're gonna do one pass. Corn, we're gonna do one pass on most of it. And then we are going to get a little bit where we can do a two pass fungicide thing and it says that we're going to, supposed to get an extra 20 to 60 bushel average out of it so we'll see i guess i'll keep you guys posted on that but i'm excited for it uh, i got the opportunity i was at a meeting the other day and they said something about it so i think it'll be really interesting though to see and it'll be really interesting for you guys to see too so yeah Anyways, I'm going to go home because they got food for me at home and I'm down here and I'm kind of hungry. So better get some food. Well, folks, the year is winding down. As you can see, I have three chemical totes left on the trailer. That means it's starting to wind down. Thankfully, it's starting to slow down a little bit. But yeah, uh, I'm going to fill up with some water. Got some intensity here. Uh, this is clothodium. That's for uh, volunteer corn. Then we also got some capture here that's got bethanthrin, which is for, uh, what's it called? What's it called? Spider mites. Spider mites. Yeah, we got spider mites out here. Not a good deal. Spider mites are not good. So we got to get rid of them before they spread all the way across the field. You can see where they are pretty easily or before they start spreading in other fields. So yeah, or before they damage yields. So yeah, we'll get it done. Oh, well, uh, Ross decided he wanted to break a spray yesterday. Uh, we got to, we're going to take it home and look at it and see what's wrong with it. Cause we are out of ideas on what to do, but yeah, 
Ross is in it. He's gonna take it home. I think it's got a solenoid out of it, but there's no way of really telling here, so we're gonna take it home. Where we can take it apart, we got ladders and all that stuff because we can't reach up there on top of the boom. But basically the boom, the main frame on the boom isn't going up and down. I'm sure he'll explain that to you guys, but it's gotta get worked on. So we're just gonna take it home. It's the best way to do it. So we're back here at the farm now. Um, I'm gonna show you guys this. So the other day they had to tow this truck home, this semi. The uh, front disc had went out of it. So they pulled it out and then they pulled it back out of the shop. But yeah, we got a new one sitting in there. But I'm gonna go to Claude's hut because I need to look at something. All right, so the new fungicide that I was talking about is called Veltima. All right, so here's the other question. They want it from V10 to V14. Uh, it's put on at seven ounces per acre. And that is pretty expensive, $284 a gallon. So I can buy it and I can risk losing money, but I can also risk gaining money. So it's kind of a toss up on like what to do there, but we're past V10 to V14 in some places. So, hmm. Ah, but anyways, let's look at the inventory here. Okay, we got uh, some dicamba left over. We got some surfactants. 2,4-D. Got plenty of 2,4-D for now. Crop oils. What's that one? More crop oil. So we should be good on chemical for now. About out of Extendamax. Or, well, can't use it now, but... It's illegal now in my state to use, so that's another story. Got some more dicamba here. So this, uh, some of this dicamba stuff we'll use like in the fall to burn down. That's why I got so much of it because we spray it on all of our ground in the fall. And that's what we use this rifle for. Put on in the fall, burn everything off, burn everything down. Use that Roundup and uh, Sonic. Oh, excuse me, and Symmetrol. So, yeah. All right, maybe we should go scout some fields now. I need to go look at something. So, I'm back up here at Emerson again. Uh, I am looking at these beans because this was my first pass of bean ground after I got done spraying corn. And if you know me, I'm a little bit of a worry rat, so I'm worried about it and it looks fine actually there's no need to be worried about it. i'm sure i would have gotten questioned though if it wasn't fine but yeah everything they look pretty good uh they are a little bit chewed up as you can see a little bit not too bad but that is just from the uh warrant that we put down a lot of people use zidua to avoid that but Warrant works fine for us, so we just go ahead and use Warrant. These beans look really good. Pretty good stand, uh, spacing, all kinds of stuff. Looks pretty good though. Really surprised with it, really impressed. These beans here, we're planting a little bit later. They're a little bit short. But yeah, everything looks good right here. Actually really surprised. So uh, next year for our corn spraying program and bean spraying program, we're probably gonna switch to Enlist uh these beans up here all extend the problem with that is now if we get a horse weed or something like that it's popping up we can't spray that camel on it right now so yeah that's kind of why we're going to switch we're going to try to at least uh it'll be a lot easier for us and a lot easier on us and like over there kind of that way is a field of non-gmo beans so just make it a lot easier on us but we're gonna go down the road here. We're gonna look at this next field. There's no volunteer corn in this that I can see. So I think this one should be good. I may or may not have just decided to go out to the wide open shooting range, you know, shooting range for farmers. But uh, yeah, <laughs> um, beans actually look really good up here. There's not that much volunteer corn out here. I might have to bring up like half a load 
to do some of it. We really need to come up here and mow too, but I don't even know where the mower tractor is or the mower, so. Sounds like a job for him while I'm gone on vacation. But yeah, uh, we are going to Kentucky Lake on Thursday, which I believe is the second. Yeah, I believe that's the second. We're gonna be there until Sunday. So yeah, we're gonna be there for quite a while. We're gonna have some time, have some fun out there, spend some time uh, on the lake and just have a nice little vacation for a little while, watch fireworks out on the lake and then come home. But uh, yeah, we are gonna go on vacation for a couple days. Uh, I do intend on having an extra or having a video out. So it should be, I should be able to have one out on Saturday too, as well as tomorrow's, which will be Wednesday. Um, but yeah, we're going on vacation, going to Kentucky Lake, gonna enjoy some time down there. Uh, yeah. Anyways, guys, I think that's gonna be all for today's video. Please remember to like and subscribe. That thumbs up button helps me out a lot. Helps me out a lot, so go ahead and hit it. And uh, follow the Farm Instagram Facebook page. And I guess we will see you guys in the next video.